level. Uh, first question I always like to ask, market is a competitive place. What are you seeing that the market is missing with Driven that you think leads this to be you know, a risk-adjusted alpha opportunity? Yeah, so it's it's actually a combination of two of the better setups, the types of setups that we look for. Um, one is private equity in the public markets. The second setup, and the second best uh, type of setup that's really attractive here is good co, bad co. So good co, bad co is a pretty classic public market setup with respect to um, you know, a lot of the business, roughly 90% of the EBITDA is doing very, very well. It's growing. It has good returns on capital, uh, and the end markets are solid. Uh, 10% of the EBITDA here is quote unquote bad co. And that has what has, uh, you know, made the price go from, let's call it $30 a share to currently 14 a share, but it's only 10% of the EBITDA. Those issues, which are U.S. car wash are largely ring fenced. Uh, I believe, and they are actually in the process of potentially divesting that segment, right? They are running a process. This is a comment that we've received not only from management, but also industry sources that Driven has been attempting to sell U.S. car wash. Uh, it's a it's a big slug. It's a big business. So it may or may not sell, but if it sells, it's going to sell by year end. And, and so that's, but that's the good code, bad code. 90% of the business is doing great. 10% is struggling, yet the markets, public markets, you know, knock down the value of the stock by over 50%. And we think that's irrational. And we think that, you know, leads to the opportunity we see today.